has kind of the best of both worlds. Um, we can walk to the boat ramp, jump on the yellowfin, and within five minutes, we're out the channel, we go past the big rock, and you're gonna, you're gonna put lines out. I mean, we're fishing blue water for pelagic species in less than five minutes. Where we're fishing, there's the turquoise water goes to a cobalt blue, and in between those two layers, there's a thousand shades of blue. It's one of the most amazing things you're gonna see. The gradient of color, and it's it's hard for for you even explain it, and pictures won't ever do it justice. You just have to experience it. I'm a a family guy that loves to cook and entertain and teach fly tying and fly fishing and I think I you know more than anything I just like to fish. Very rarely in life do you come across someone that has a lot of the same sensibilities that you have and sees the world the way you do and I immediately was struck by his uh, just authenticity honesty about who he was and what he was about. Clint's one of my very best friends I've known him for a couple of years it feels like a couple of decades. We're not the same age, but I think we're very similar. He's one of the best instructors that I've ever been around, um, and, and probably you know amongst the best casters I've ever seen. And putting in a fishing situation, he's just uh, you know, second to none in terms of the casting ability that he has. From where we're at right now, we can be on one of the most pristine bonefish and permit flats in the Bahamas. It's just world-class fly fishing. That's a bonefish right there. Got it. As far as fishing lodges go, this is kind of like a religious experience, like the Vatican, you know. This is the last stop, as good as it gets. Today was one of the most incredible days I've seen in, in a long, long time. You don't see the ocean like that. It was just like it was a mirror, and you couldn't really see the horizon, and it was just, it was magical. It was all kinds of stuff going on today. The, the fish we caught, the sharks we saw, and all that kind of stuff. And I think those are gifts from the universe that if you're open to them, they will, they will uh, expand you as a human being and elevate you uh, to what we're supposed to be. It's the end game for me. If you said, how do you see yourself, you know, in the twilight of your life, it's tying a fly in the morning and Putting, tying it on, walking out on some beach somewhere, walking by myself, just at my own pace, taking it all in and catching a fish or two, and that's a good day. That's a good day for me.